Grab a notebook, grab a pen Do your homework and tell a friend Know all the answers and buzz them in Who knows it better, you or them It's the cooking Classroom, now let's begin Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis Here we go, hands in, students on three One, two, three, students, let's go baby You guys ready to play? Let's go And you guys, matching outfits today, nice choice Welcome into the show, everybody. Today we have the students and our teachers from Log College Middle School in Bucks County. Sounds like a college, but it is in fact a middle school. Hey, they just entered the classroom. The show where students go head to head with their favorite all time teachers. Hey, Bucks County, they were like, uh, what are you guys doing today? Apparently showing up to the classroom to support them. What's up, everybody? Yeah, they got the signs. It's big news. We have $500 cash. Who wouldn't love that? But also the right to say that I'm smarter than my teachers. Teacher. I know the students would love that. Before we even meet our students and teachers, we're going to jump off the show today with a pop quiz. Let's go. Pop quiz time. Here we go. Grab your buzzers, guys. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you guys 10 points if you buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it wrong, your team's locked out, but the other side has a chance to buzz in, steal those points. You guys ready to do this? Yes. This pop quiz starts right now, guys. Good luck. In the fairy tale, Goldilocks and the three bear. In whose bed do the bears find Goldilocks? Jamar. The little bear? Yeah, there, baby bear, little bear. What does the fraction one half equal as a percentage? Jamar again. 50%. There he goes. During the Middle Ages, what was the term for the top leader of the land who would distribute his land to barons, nobles, lords, who pledged their loyalty to them? Mr. Leiby. The king. The king. Extra credit, double these points, guys, worth 20. In what sport do you use a stick with a small net on the end to shoot a ball into a larger net? Leiby. Ah, uh, lacrosse. Wax, yeah. What is the term for an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions like the appearance of a sheet of water in the desert or on a hot road, Mr. Boyle? Oasis. Oh. Students for the steal. One second. No, that's a mirage. That's a mirage. Whose fans are called believers? Gigi. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Giraffes are native to which continent? Mr. Leiby. Africa. Africa's right. What singer who rose to fame by posting lip syncing videos on Musical.ly and TikTok released hit song Sweatshirt and Better With You? Jamar. Uh, his name. That's what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers for the steal. Still looking for his name? Jacob Sartorius is gonna get you there. Uh, what word means both the outer layer of a tree and the noise a dog makes? Mr. Leiby. Bark. Bark is right. What was the nickname given to Francis Marion, one of the Revolutionary War's militia leaders known for his craftiness and brilliant guerrilla tactics? You guys know him as Mr. Leiby. Uh, the Swamp Fox. There it is, nicely done. And that is it for the pop quiz. <laughs> Wrap that up, put a bow on it because teachers came out with 60 points. Students did well, they're at 30. Hey, and we're off to a great start. We have the students and teachers from Log College Middle School. They're from Warminster, Pennsylvania. Right next to me, I live in a Dole Sound, guys. So, like, we're basically neighbors. So, hey, neighbors. Good hey, to see you guys. Man. Jamar, good to see you. Good seeing you. Team captain, man. Yes. Big money uh, Big money in the line. 500. That's a lot, right? Yes. If you guys win it, what are you going to do with it? Uh, picnic tables. First right? Thing. Eat outside? Yes. Are you even allowed to eat outside? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, you buy a few picnic tables, you can do whatever you want, right? Yeah. All right, so eighth grader, guys, uh, it's good to see you, man, because I, I've heard through the grapevine that you're, like, one of the fastest kids in the area. What's that all about? Yeah, I run track. I do the 800, I do relays, and I do the 100-yard dash. Like, you just run really, really fast in short amount of time. Yeah. And, like, what, have, you ever, uh, have you ever won anything big? No, not yet. Because you know what? The best is yet to come, baby. Yes. All right, good to see you. GG, eighth grader. You're going for the, uh, the iron athlete, I heard, at your school, right? Yeah. What's that? Like, what do we look at? How do you get the iron athlete? That sounds amazing, by the way. So in seventh and eighth grade, you have to play three sports in every, uh, a sport in every season. What are, what are your three sports? Uh, volleyball, wrestling, and softball. Who's your favorite wrestler? Mr. Livey. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> he taught you everything you know. Zach, eighth grader, good to see you, man. Uh, you have a cool lineage of sports as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, my uh, grandfather played for the Dodgers. So that, that's incredible. Do you, is the bar like set like super high for you now? Like if you don't make the Dodgers, your grandpa's going to be like, I hate you, grandson. <laughs> no, not really. All right, well, good. That's good news. I'll tell you what, you can make them proud today, guys, by beating these teachers and winning 500 right here. Good luck. 
I'd like to introduce you to the greatest facial hair this show has ever seen. He goes by the name Mr. Boyle, but the chin's a whole nother story. Look at that puppy, man. You can, he, I, I, it looks nice. You have it perfectly harvested to kind of hold your chin there. Uh, 500 on the line today if you win it. Where's it going to go? We're just going to go to our school-wide behavior plan. Perfect. For, like, you do well. You yeah. toss them a gift card to iTunes. Yeah. They're like, I want to do well again. Yeah. Uh, special ed teacher. And you're a three-sport coach. Yeah. What do you, what do you coach? I've done, um, I do volleyball. I've done girls basketball in the past, and I currently coach softball right now. This awesome. Season, How's so. the season going? Good. Awesome. We're great. Miss Chase, history teacher, uh, one-time worldly traveler. When she travels, she travels super hard. What did you do? Um, I did 13 countries in 30 days. That's crazy. Yeah. Favorite one in that trip? Uh, I, can't, I can't. There's They're all your so babies. Yeah, I, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Mr. Leiby, our favorite wrestler. There he is. Uh, <laughs> wow, look at those guns. History teacher, and when he's not wrestling, He's a gamer extraordinaire? That's right. You're a man after my own heart. What do you play? Uh, I like to play Fortnite with my sons, uh, Matthew and Michael. Yeah, who's better, Matthew, Michael, or you? Uh, Michael is the reigning champ in the house. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. all right. He's at home playing right now. He's not even watching the show. Correct. That's because he's the reigning <laughs> champ, and the reigning champ is about to be crowned today. We're playing. We're going to the detention. <laughs> On this one, guys, here's how this game works. The I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play, if you want to pass it to the other side. Choose to play, you answer the question correctly, you get to pick off an opposite side and send them to detention. But get it wrong, and you could end up there yourself. If you pass, either team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. You get everyone into detention, 40 points, you win the round. Let's do this. We're going to start with students. Geography. We're gonna play. Here you go. What type of low, flat landmass, sometimes shaped like a triangle, forms at the mouth of a river where the river deposits sediments, divides, and drains into slower moving water? You guys can talk about it. A delta. Delta is right, guys. Okay. <laughs> They're not even showing any emotion. They knew they were going to win this thing. They said, let's go. They don't even need to high five. But now you guys get to send a teacher to detention. Who's it going to be? Mr. Libby. Mr. Libby. <laughs> go ahead and put detention in the headlock, sir. I mean, everyone's just afraid of Libby. That's why we had to get you out of the game. As we move on to category math. We have a history teacher, a special ed teacher on the board today. Okay. I will pass it. Good luck, guys. What is the term for any flat side of a cube or other three dimensional solid figure? You can talk about it. Uh, a surface? We're looking for a face or a facet, which means you don't get it right, and teachers, great pass. Jamar. Jamar, team captain, you got to sprint your way to detention, pal. All right, here we go. The game continues, guys. We have two students, two teachers, a lot on the line. As we move into category of food, do you love it? All right, we'll play. What important mineral is found in all foods in the dairy group and helps build bones and teeth? Potassium? You're not eating a banana, you're drinking a glass of milk where you're getting your calcium. Oh, the calcium, so you guys aren't gonna get that right. And teachers, you get to send somebody else to detention. We're sending Gigi. Gigi, we're going right down the line here. And now we move to you guys. Category, win it right here, television. We're playing that. Okay. We'll play. Okay. On the Cartoon Network show, what is the flower-related name of the Powerpuff Girls leader who wears a pink dress? It's either it's Blossom, Buttercup, or I want to say. They're deep in thought here. Need an answer, guys? Or Buttercup. Uh, try it. We'll say uh, Buttercup. Blossom is the answer. I heard Blossom over there, too. She did say it, but not the right answer there. So how about this, Zach? You are holding on to this thing by a thread. Miss Chase, Mr. Boyle, who's it going to be? Uh, Miss Chase. Miss Chase going to detention. Whew. Here you go. You can win this game right here. Put the students on your back. 
You can do it, Zach. Category is colors. Play. Here he goes. What secondary color do you get if you mix red and yellow together? Orange. For the win, 40 points! Zach does it, students out of detention. How about it, they're dapping up and they should because we have three teachers in detention. Who's gonna win it? We'll find out when we get back. Today we have students and teachers from Log College Middle School in Bucks County. They're going head to head. And the scores, well, they're tight. Teachers came out flying early, but students are in the lead here with 70 points on the board. Teachers 10 behind with 60. And this game continues on. And pay attention, everybody. We're going to study hall next. Here's how the game works. Each team's gonna select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two teams are gonna look at each other for 10 seconds and study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players are gonna have five seconds to write down your answers on the chalkboard. You're gonna reveal your answer. If you get it right, 10 points gets added to your score. We're only 10 points apart here, so teachers, you could take the lead. Students, you could add to your lead. Look across the way. Who's going into study hall? They're deep in thought. As we go to our teachers first, Mr. Boyle. Putting Gigi in study hall. Gigi, hold on before you go. You gotta help decide who's going into study hall to face you. Miss Chase. Chase, Gigi, we're going middle men, let's go. <laughs> Battle of the women here. Gigi, Miss Chase, good luck as you guys grab your seat and get comfortable and we enter study hall. You're gonna have 10 seconds to study the photo that I'm gonna put up right there. No writing anything down quite yet. Just study that photo super hard. 10 seconds to do it. Good luck, everybody. There's a lot going on there. Good luck, five seconds to write down your answers, so don't wait. Question one, how many fluffy clouds are seen in the giant mural of Philadelphia? Good luck. Let's reveal your answers. Gigi says, 10 fluffy clouds. Miss Chase, you said three fluffy clouds. Make sure you hold that up, Gigi. Our judges wanna be sure the answer Two fluffy clouds, that's it. No points awarded on either side. Sorry, Miss Chase, Gigi, repeat the boards and we move to question two. What number is on the wall surrounding the field? Good luck. Reveal your answers, Miss Chase says 401. Gigi, you say 401, is it 401 yards to hit a dinger? 401 is right, both sides. Points there, points there. 80, 70, and we see who can catch an edge right here in question three. What color is on the bucket? Excuse me, what color is the bucket on the field with the red logo? Good luck. Reveal your answers. Miss Chase says white is the bucket. Gigi also says white. The answer, 10 more points aside, the bucket is white. <laughs> Nicely done here, nicely done there. Hey, how about this for the score? Students sitting at 90, teachers are sitting at 80, and we're not done yet. The field trip is up next. The bus is waiting. Hop on with us right after the break. The classroom's still in session when we come back. Teachers, students are from Log College Middle School in Bucks County. We have a teacher from the school right here. What's your yeah. name? Uh, Liz Pagnelli. All right, so you yeah. you know these students, and you were telling oh, me these are pretty special kids up there. Yes. What makes them so special? They are just involved in everything and just nice kids. Just nice, and you can actually have a nice conversation. See, isn't that with nice? Them. And you can sometimes just yell, like, Log, roll, roll. And they're <laughs> like, roll. they're like, oh, duh. All right, well, big game, guys. Students, you got 90 points. Nicely done. Teachers, you're a little bit behind with 80, but but anybody can win this thing. And everybody, it's my favorite time of the day. Hop aboard, we're taking a field trip. Field 
trip time. I love a good field trip because you get out of class. Grab your buzzers, guys. Today we're taking a field trip to the shops at Liberty Place. The first person to buzz in, you get the answer correct. Ten points for your team. You get it incorrect, you're locked out. The other chance can have a side to jump in steal those points. Fox 29's meteorologist Kathy Orr is asking the questions today. She does such a great job as per usual. Kathy, glad to have you on the show. How about giving us question number one? Hey Richard, today we're shopping in Philadelphia and that reminds me of question number one. What is the name of the big shopping event that happens the day after Thanksgiving? Mr. Libby. Black Friday. Black Friday's right. Libby strikes again. You spend a lot of money Black Friday? Uh, no, I do mostly online shopping. Right, there you so go. Don't we all nowadays? Here we go, Kathy. Question number two. Let's keep this field trip rolling. After Rihanna was brought on as creative director in 2014, she introduced a shoe called the Creeper as part of her collection with what athletic brand and her Fenty label? Jamar, first one to jump in there. Puma? Puma is right, there's another 100. And it's 100 points for you guys. 90 points for our teachers. Teachers, you're gonna wanna get this one and tie this game up before we go into that final exam. Good luck, everybody. Kathy, what's that last question? Now it's time for question number three, and I know you got this. What tech company created and owns Xbox? Mr. Libby. Uh, Microsoft. Microsoft is right. Teachers tie the game. 100 there, 100 here. A big thanks to Kathy Orr for leading our field trip today. And guys, it doesn't get any better than this. These scores are tied up as we go into our final exam. <laughs> How about this one? The top of today's final exam is now I know my ABCs. This means the answer to questions are in alphabetical order. So the first answer starts with the letter A. The second starts with the letter B. And the third answer, follow with me here, Jamar. You th there it is, he's got it. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions, guys. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 100 points for your teams. You're gonna to work together and write down during the answer, excuse me, the answers during commercial break. I'm gonna give you the questions right now, though. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Which math property states that numbers can be added or multiplied in any order, regardless of how the numbers are grouped? The answer begins with the letter A. Next. What Disney Channel show features two girls named Paige and Frankie who sing funny songs and create videos on their online Vugle channel? That answer begins with a B. Here you go, last one. What part of the water cycle is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water? That answer begins with a C. You heard the questions. 60 seconds is about to be started. Who's gonna win this thing? Students have a chance. Teachers have a chance. It is dead tied right now. Who's gonna win this thing? We are gonna find out when we come right back to the classroom. Hey, you think they're having fun today? You can have fun tomorrow. Here's how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. How about this? Welcome back to the classroom. We are locked. Dead heat. They're from Long College Middle School. It's 100 for the teachers. It's 100 for the students. And we move into our final exam. Now I know my ABCs is the topic. And they go in alphabetical order, starting with A, then B, and finally C. Before we went to break, I asked teams three questions about it. Each correct answer is going to get you 100 points. Let's play. Here we go. Which math property states that numbers can be added or multiplied in any order, regardless of how the numbers are grouped? We're going to start with our teachers. Mr. Leiby, you said? Associative. That's going to get you 100 and to 200 points. Associative. Zach doesn't even wait for the call. He goes, what? <laughs> Associative. There's 100 over here. They get it right. Zach just does whatever he wants. His show. As we move into question number two, starts with a B. What Disney Channel show features two girls named Paige and Frankie who sing funny songs, create videos on their online Vugle channel. Teachers. Miss Chase. Bizarre Vark. 
Biz Vark is going to get you 100. And we continue on. Gigi, you said. This is our mark. And we stay deadlocked at 300. Here we go. What part of the water cycle is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water? This answer begins with a C. Mr. Boyle, you said. Condensation. Condensation. <laughs> and it comes down to this. Jamar, get it right, or the teachers are the big winners of today. You said. Condensation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to overtime. We have a tie, and that means we go to a tiebreakers. Guys, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them here. My palms are sweaty. Here we go. I'm going to ask another question about our final exam topic. The first team to buzz in and get it correct will win this game. If you buzz in, you get it wrong. The other team has a chance to steal. I can see your hearts beating from here. Good luck. The answer to this question begins with the letter D. What female performer sings swan song and one kiss? Gigi for the win. Dua That is right, $500 students win the game. Get out here and get your money. Gigi came up big time in overtime. We have a huge student win today. We want to thank you guys for being here. What a game in the classroom. We'll see you next time.